Hello everyone, this is Crystal. Welcome to Art Fantastic, where creativity comes alive. Today let's paint an easy but really pretty rocky landscape. And for that, I have my 6x8 inch Yupo paper and I begin with my 99% isopropyl. Just dabbing it all over my paper. And there's this lovely color by Copic, Cool Shadow, that I want to use along with Peacock Blue. All I'm doing is just letting my brush glide gently along the surface. And in seconds, I have a lovely background with clouds and it's all ready. For my rocks, I'm going to add leather, which is a lovely vibrant color by Copic. And then I might add some of the sand too. That's another lighter shade by Copic. It gives a little depth and dimension. And a touch of coral by Pinata. Don't those colors look pretty together? I'm just going to help it along with my brush. I've added the tiniest bit of alcohol and all I'm doing is just gently touching the brush and you see the rocks and the shapes just form. Painting like this is the easiest thing. As it dries I will add another layer and there'll be more depth. You'll see. I'm going to add a little more color to the edges just to give the impression of nearness. And of course, I just dab it with my brush. There's a very tiny bit of alcohol on the brush, and it's the alcohol that's doing most of the work, really. I'm just helping it along by dabbing the brush gently. Once it dries, I'll just add another layer. I think those rocks are coming along rather nicely. I've begun to love working with alcohol inks. It just needs getting a little used to, that's all. Well, that's looking nice. Maybe I'll add some grass. I'm using just lime green and all I'm doing is with my brush just pulling the grass literally out of the ground. Of course, I'm using very little alcohol. If you don't, it will tend to blot and bloom on your paper. And there you have it, a nice little grassy area, grass among the rocks. But I think we should add a tree right there. I love these old gnarled trees with their crooked branches, each one so unique and so extraordinary. And always remember, the trunk should always be thicker than the branches. So I need to work on mine. Of course, this is your tree. This is your painting. So you can make the trunk as thick or as thin as you like. I just like mine to be a little bit thicker. And of course, it's hidden behind those rocks there. Let's add some leaves. I'm going to use lime green for the leaves, you know, just um, for the first layer. And then I might add a touch of sun bright yellow. Let's see how that looks. For the leaves, I'm just, I'm just dabbing the brush very, very lightly, just to give the impression of leaves. 
isn't that pretty? And there's absolutely nothing to it. These would make lovely little greeting cards. And they're such fun to do and so easy. Anyone can do it. You just need to give it a try. All you need is a little imagination, some creativity, a few alcohol inks. And you're all ready to create a masterpiece. I've added a touch of sun bright yellow and I think that does brighten up those leaves a bit. That looks nice. I think I'm nearly done now. Just a few final touches. And of course I must get those leaves just right. But I think it's ready now. Isn't that a pretty simple landscape? And the best part is anyone can do it. Let me bring you down for a closer look. There. Now you see it without the glare of the light. Isn't that nice? I love that sky. I hope this video has inspired you to go ahead and try painting with alcohol inks. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Happy painting!